come to the dark side. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back to today's YouTube video. Taking a look at a gerbil blaster today and it is an M97 uh, shotgun. At least that's what they call it. Um, whether that is exactly accurate, I'm not sure. Um, as you know, sometimes with toy guns, they call it one thing and it's not always the exact same thing. Um, but M97, we're gonna run with that. Here it is in the box. Warning, product is a gel blaster model, only suitable for people over 14 years old. Saw this product out of reach of children. Do not shoot human or at human. Do not shoot human or animals. Do not modify the product to increase its shooting energy. Do not put the gel ball into mouth. Do not use this product in public so as not to cause panic. It's good they put a little warning sticker on there because otherwise there isn't one on the box, at least not that I can read in English. Um, so there it is, there's the box. Uh, it's a very simple cardboard box, um, nothing flash. Um, that's all right, that, that's, that's cool. It's what's inside that is important. So here we go. So we open it up like that. You can see we've got some bubble wrap there. Um, pull out the little piece first. We've got a pair of safety glasses or goggles. We have a black muzzle, which we can put on. That'll completely black out the gun. And we have a cap here for the end of the um, shotgun. Uh, that'll go on like the butt. I don't know if, you probably don't call it the butt. So um, you'll see why um, it goes on this piece here. But here it is, this is the shotgun. This is the M97. Let's just move that out. There it is, feast your eyes on this. Um, Smith & Wesson Springfield, M-A-S-U-A. -S -S oh, we have a very big warning sign on, on a warning section here. Warning, not a toy, six millimeter caliber model. Uh, wear eye protection to prevent serious injury to the eyes. Read owner's manual before using manufactured by Cybergun SA made in China. Hmm. Well, that is, that is good that they put put a warning on there. And we just have had this piece fall. Oh, well, that, that is meant to be able to come off. So the reason why this piece here um, is like this with the, the thread, thread on the inside and this cap, this is so you can actually attach a butt to it. Uh, like a, a, you know, an actual stock, so you could shoulder the, the shotgun. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, it is made of a very solid, of a solid plastic, probably ABS. Yeah, most likely ABS. Maybe even a bit of nylon here on the grip. Um, no screw ports on this side. Uh, so this piece I keep talking about, yeah, this screws in on the back there. So uh, there is. I think there is meant to be something in there because there is a thread, but there is nothing in there or nothing in the box. I think there's what there's meant to be there is a little uh, piece of metal, like a loop, so you can put a lanyard on it or a, a strap, you know, so you can, a sling, so you can carry the blaster like that. Uh, let's see how easy that thread goes in. Okay, it's a bit tricky to, yeah, that's in place there. So working our way from front to back, we have the muzzle up the front, um, it's the red cap. We can switch that out to the black if we like. Um, that's very easy, that, that's on there pretty solid, that fits, nice friction fit. Then we have, um, you got your top barrel here and like a, um, that's not the barrel, but that's the part where the, um, the priming bar, I guess you'll call it. Part where you actually gotta pump the gun, that's where that runs along. So uh, up the top is like a grill here. Uh, this isn't actually fixed on um, uh, with any glue or anything. It just it kind of just um, friction fits on there. So it's holding itself on. Uh, I could apply some glue in there and then um, stick it down properly. So that's something you probably would wanna do because you don't really want that coming off. Uh, probably would come off 
you know if you're if you're actually using the the blaster in like a, a gel war or a gel fight um so you probably would want to glue that down so that's something um you might want to attend to um got the yeah the priming i don't even know what you call that particular piece but it's the priming section um so uh that's what that bit is there and then you've got a a, a picatinny rail here on the side and a picatinny rail on the top and then a rear iron sight uh we also have the front iron sight at the front of the muzzle forgot to mention that and there is also a little hole here where you could hang something though i'm not sure if you'd want to hang it upside down just at the risk of that coming off although it still takes a fair bit of force to pull that off um, so we've got, yeah, the rear iron sight, and then this is actually what opens up, and that's your hopper there where you've put your ammo in. So that's uh, where you're going to be uh, loading your the blaster is through there. And I'm not sure how much it will hold. It will probably hold about, I'm guessing between probably around 20, shh, probably somewhere between 10, 15 shots. Um, I think there are some 3D models you can buy online that they're a hop up no a hopper that you can um slide on um over the top of this um i could be wrong but i think i've seen some at least when i was um working in a gel blaster store at tac toys they had this model um they had this 3d print that could slide on um although i don't think their shotguns had this this plastic the plastic bits here on each side hmm. oh no i think it did yeah yeah so i think there is a there was a i think there are um hoppers available online that you can slide on and that increases your capacity obviously but then you obviously yeah you, you're not going to really be able to use your iron sight but i mean that said it's a shotgun so um yeah are you really going to be aiming but that actually brings me on to a very good point this this shotgun actually shoots at a very high fps you're looking close to 300 fps it is crazy hard it's one of the most powerful spring if not the most powerful um one of the most powerful yeah spring blast spring gel blasters you can buy is the m97 shotgun here um that's a side note so you in that sense you may actually very well very well want to use your iron sight because this yeah this it's only single shot it doesn't shoot like a shotgun unfortunately um yeah, I'm um, yet to see one that does shoot like that. That'd be cool if someone yeah, could come up with one that shoots yeah, multiple gel balls at a, at a good range. Um, I've seen one or two that, that were meant to do that, but they didn't actually shoot the gel balls out properly. But um, yeah, this is just single shot. So we got up to here. So the iron sight and where the ammo goes in. Then moving down, we've got uh, the trigger guard, the trigger. That's a, that's a big trigger guard. Uh, you could fit your finger in there easy. Trigger is nice. Yeah, it's pretty. That's a nice trigger pull. It's not. It's not bad. Um, we've got the grip. And I think that is nylon. It feels pretty solid. And then here we also have, I think, another spot where you'd put a lanyard through. That's solid, man. Like that's a, that's a. That would be a very. That would be your most secure spot. I think to put a lanyard or a sling. So, yeah, there you go. That is it. Um, it's a nice size. I think it's one to one scale. It certainly looks one to one scale. Um, yeah. I mean, you could, could this is like rob a bank sort of level um, of realism, which is nice. Um, and of course, you can always tone it down and um, put the orange the red cap on when i say robber bank level I'm, I'm just saying it's 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 impressive that they, they they make it look realistic um i'm not i'm not that is in no way a um me suggesting that you should uh do any sort of illegal activity so other side you have a shell port here which yeah that opens when you prime it back that's nice that adds a little bit of realism to it too uh moves around a little bit but it seems pretty good now that's some sort of no that's plastic 
Okay, we can't can't deprime the blaster. Ah, so it's got to be fired to um like so. So yeah, screw ports are on this side. Um, yeah, it's a nice it's a nice build quality. Like aside from this piece that you probably want to put down, uh, as in you know secure with some glue. Oh, now it seems a bit more secure. Oh, I see what the problem is. There's these little, there's these plastic nubs here that it has to go over. It's gone over one at the, at the front. It just hasn't clipped over the ones at the back. Huh, well, now it's on there. Now, now it's, at least it's not coming off at the front, but the, the back here, it's moving around a bit. So it probably... Hmm, okay, so... Well, it's not gonna come off now as easy. Yeah, so it's meant to sit, there's like a little plastic, uh, two plastic um, knobs that, that kind of slot into the holes there, at least the front and then the back, it's not, it's not going in, but it's on there more secure now at least, so that, that's, that's good. Um, ah, that's probably what's stopping it. Can see the plastic mold here is not perfect so it's, it's it's not pushing all the way back if i clean that up with a knife perhaps it'll um fit sit on there properly yes yeah, so that that's um it's good weight it is not too front heavy a lot of the weight is actually back here in the what do we call it do we call it the receiver part of the gun yeah, i think we call it the receiver most of the weight's back here um, yeah, that's about your balance point. Yeah, so it's not super front heavy. Yeah, most of that's pretty light. Most of the weight is back here. You've got your spring in here, the plunger. Um, yeah. So I think that pretty much sums up this review, guys. There will be a link to this item in the description. Um, Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.